Hi, my name is Shannon. I'm here at Next Level, and I'm going to talk about the So Right today. Um, I came into the gym, and this happened to be here, and I was so excited because I've wanted to try this for a really long time. Um, so when I came into the gym in the morning, I saw it. I was just like, holy cow, what's happening? It's here. So um, basically, why I was interested in using this was um, I've had bilateral hip surgery. Uh, FAI surgery, um, also cord decompression of the femur for vascular necrosis. Um, and my hips are really, really, really tight. Um, I can never hit the psoas. Um, I'll lay on a ball. I've even like stacked uh, lacrosse balls up onto like a yoga block. You name it, I've tried to get in there. I've balanced on kettlebells. Um, so for me to have this was really, really cool because it hits it so perfectly. So how you would go ahead and um, set this up just for hips is you go ahead and place it onto the ground and then you're going to just kind of go along the sides of your abdomen. So you're going to end up feeling a good spot right where it's kind of like tender, but you just kind of breathe and then relax into it. You can start, I started up higher, a little bit higher on my forearms, and then when you feel comfortable, you can kind of like settle into it and drop all the way down to the floor, which it feels really nice on your back. So you can kind of just hang out here. Um, I felt a different kind of pull when I had my head side to side, so I would suggest maybe just have it right on the It feels really good. So for me, it's like getting that itch I can't scratch. So, and then I'll just kind of inch my way up. And I'll kind of just scoot a little bit more, a little bit more. Where I really, really, really liked it was um, right where my rib cage, the bottom of my rib cage. It felt so good to get into that space. So that's how I would use it for my hips. And so for the release for your back, um, I would go ahead and place it to the side of you and then you're gonna get into a bridge. And then when you pop your hips up, that's when you can slide it under and it feels really good. So I was really surprised how tight I was through the top of my glutes. Um, almost more like tender than my psoas, which I was really surprised. So oh, so for this, it feels really, really good. Um, it kind of just has that release feeling and then you can work it all the way down. I think breathing is really super important for this as well because it's gonna get all the right oxygen into the muscles to allow them to open up. And I kind of just scoot it further, further down, kind of settle into it and let it do its thing. You don't have to do much with it. You just kind of lay on it and feel out what what feels tender, what feels right, and then breathe into it and kind of settle into it. Go up a little bit higher. Feels really, really nice on your back. So I used this before my uh, last upper body day for back, and it was amazing. <laughs> my back felt so open, it was incredible, because I get really, really tight through my hips and my back, just from having surgeries. And that's about it. So that's how I would run it up and down my back. So uh, I wanted to show too what I liked using it for, um, for the outside of my hip, the glute medius. Uh, it feels really good on that area. So I kind of just set it to the side of me and then I'll sit right on top of it. And then I'll let it go into the area that I wanna target, that outside of the hip. And I'll just kind of sit into it and lean a little bit. And then if I'm feeling extra good, I will cross my leg and kind of lean into it a little bit more. Whew. So it'll really open up that outer side of your hip, that glute medius, which it's really hard to kind of get in there and target. 
and it hits it just, it hits it really deep. So I love this part. And make sure that you breathe and don't hold your breath. You kind of work it a little bit lower, higher, just go up and down on that area. And kind of rock back and forth. And that's how I would hit the outside of the hip.